What does Superman, McDonald's and the selection tools in Photoshop have in common? Not much until today. So let's have a look at how we can select Superman so that we can place him in a different setting. We could use the lasso tool, but I don't think it's going to be very accurate. So let's deselect that, Command D or Control D, depending on your computer. Let's try another tool. Click and hold the button and you'll find there's other ones. Polygonal lasso tool. With this one, it gives you a little bit more control. Basically, you are clicking like this. But this isn't a good either because it's not accurate enough. Command D to deselect. We've got the rectangular marquee tool. That's just for selecting a large area. But that's no good. Other shapes as well. But what we probably want to get is one of these. Now depending on which version of Photoshop you're using will depend on what these look like. Quick selection tool is probably the one we want. That one there. We just select around Superman like this. Get it as close to the edge as we can without going over it. You can increase the sensitivity of this by increasing or decreasing the size of your brush using the square brackets on your keyboard. If you make it smaller, it's going to be a little bit finer. And there's no harm in also zooming in as well by going uh, Command plus or Control plus to zoom in, and then Command or Control minus to zoom out. Right, so you can get very fine and precise. Increase cape. If you go too far like that, you simply go to the minus select tool. So we just click on that. And we just push it back and it's going to try and find that edge. Why is it doing that? Stuffed up. That means I have to start over. No! As you can see, you can do this pretty quick. Making sure we get that little lighter edge there. And again, we've got too much, so we can just deselect a little bit. Excellent. So now that we've got that, we can simply go Command or Control C to make a copy of him. And then I'm going to bring him over to this image. I'm going to paste him in. Now, he looks too big for this sign, so I'm going to move him down a bit. And I'm going to rotate him. How do I do that? Command T for transform. I'm going to move the cursor near the corner here. So as you can see, it turns into a corner tool or a rotate tool. I'm going to turn him around a bit. I'd like it so that he sits under that sign a little bit. I'm going to use this tool, the polygonal lasso tool. Now I don't have to select the whole thing. I can just select part of the sign. See that little circle there? Shows you that the object is joined to the starting point. So now I've just selected part of that sign. I'm going to go Command C for copy. Huh. Ah. Always check what layer you are on. So I can't select anything from that McDonald's sign because I'm not on that correct layer. So we'll select the background layer, it's a common mistake, and I'm going to go Command C again, and now I've copied that piece of sign, I'm going to go Command V, where is it? Well it's sitting right there on top, and I want to move that layer above my mate Superman, so now he's behind it. The problem is now, it looks a little bit unnatural because we have no shadow here. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to get the uh, paintbrush tool or the brush tool. Going to have it very soft, a soft brush, so low in hardness. Make the size a bit bigger. Can, again, I can change the size with my square bracket on the keyboard. And opacity, I'm going to drop down to pretty low maybe 20%, something like that, 22 will do. 
and the color over here I'm going to make black right 22% opacity just put in a little bit of shadow now we don't want to overdo it we don't want it to look fake or weird you can always command Z undo if you make a mistake pretty good that'll do and I'm going to put a caption on it and we're done done